This Christmas Eve, Santa is granting one big wish. Items for families, that big wish is food. As CBS 2's Stephen Graves shows us, the pandemic is creating a truly unprecedented demand. 7.30 this morning, trucks are loaded, bags of produce filled to the top. A holiday delivery in a pandemic. On a Christmas list, people are asking for food. They're asking for food, brother. Christopher Lamarck, founder of organization Coffee, Hip Hop and Mental Health, had volunteers deliver toys and food to more than 200 families in Chicago this Christmas Eve. Grandma of three, Susanna Martinez, one of them, she, like others, submitted wish lists weeks ago in preparation for the holiday. But these wishes are terrible because it's some of the most simple and basic needs. I am feeling all of the weight that it takes to try to feed families. Um, it is heartbreaking. Lamarck estimates handing groceries to thousands of families since the summer, many of whom lost jobs. It's been hard keeping up with demand. Grants and donations, they don't come as fast as possible. So we're buying more food and we're paying more for it because of inflation and continued volatility in the supply chain. Data from the Greater Chicago Food Depository shows food insecurity in Cook County has more than doubled during the pandemic. Staff worries about donor fatigue down the line. We just really need people to stay engaged with us and, and, and continue to give and support as they, as they can because this is going to be a crisis that lasts for months or even years. Grassroots groups now playing a major part in community survival, especially in ones of color, where the virus has exposed inequities. Lamarck's group has since set up a store to sell things like coffee and merchandise to raise money. Some of these bigger groups tell me they're more or less waiting on federal aid to help them out. Reporting, I'm Stephen Graves, CBS2 News.